Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing and football tips for Saturday the 12th of August. Well, a quick recap on Friday's performance. While disappointing, we had one horse placed. Quite a few of the unplaced horses weren't actually too far away from being placed. Um, realistically, it makes no odds, does it? Because obviously it was a losing day. So unfortunately, £10 down. So here are the horse racing selections for Saturday the 12th of August. So what I'm going to do, or well, what I've already done, should I say, I've got three selections. Um, two of them aren't really each way prices, but I have included them in an each way bet because it's a relatively small stake. It's a fiver in total, but some quite nice returns because I do think two of the horses have got fantastic chances of winning. One of those three um, it's got the draw in its favour and quite a lot of the fancied horses don't. So let me get into it. So the first bet is a 50 pence each way tricks. So basically that's 50 pence each way doubles in the treble. But I've also upped the treble. I've had a 50 pence each way treble as well. So here are the selections. So the first selection is Evening Story at 6 to 1 in a 3 minutes past 2 at Red Car. It's drawn two, and I'm convinced they will head towards the far side. I looked, um, I looked at the occasions when they do head to the far side, and they've even headed across on good ground, where it's given out as good to soft, good in places. There are quite heavy showers forecast right at the beginning of, of racing. Maybe they might arrive there a bit earlier, I don't know. It's not enough to change the ground, but it might be enough to change the opinion of the jockeys of where they race. And I think you can't go wrong going to the far side. So this horse is drawn to, quite a lot of the fancied horses are drawn much higher. Um, so I think, and I also think that this David and, is it David and Claire, Claire Kubler? They don't send many, well, they've only ever sent two horses to Red Car. However, they have been on place, but we don't really know the circumstances behind that. But this horse has got everything going for it. The only, the only doubt is the fact that it's making its reappearance. But why send it quite a, quite a distance to Red Car? When if, if it's not right, you'd send it to your local track. Well, this isn't their local track. So, yeah, so the first selection is Evening Story at 6 to 1 in the 3 minutes past 2 at Red Car. The next selection is Zothi at 100 to 30 in the 10 past 2 at Ascot, paying four places instead of three. If you go back two runs ago, it ran a monster race, and it's been dropped one pound since then, since I believe it ran disappointingly in the Northumberland Plate. I could be wrong about that race. Uh, I think it was a Northumberland plate. If you just say that it didn't handle the all weather as well as they wanted it to, I don't know. I'm clutching at straws now, but it was a disappointing run. Frank is on board tomorrow, or Saturday, should I say. So uh, I think it's, it's expected to run well. And it's about time Hugo Palmer like, got his act together. It was up and coming um, a few years ago. Then what he did, he, he got the, um, I think he got the Tom Dascom stables, a lot of his horses. Not really, not really done a great deal since. He has had the odd decent winner, but I just feel as though he's like um, treading water. If, that's, if that makes sense, you know, he just um, just just getting by that kind of thing. So the nap of the day is Poet Master at one hundred to thirty in the two twenty five at Haydock, paying five places instead of three. Well, Carl Burke's team are absolutely flying, and this is another one of his horses. I don't normally go for horses each way when they've won the last two because there's no, normally no value. However, it's a much more competitive race than it's running before. However, this is one of the selections that for years now I've, I've, I've followed this. And I also, I also follow it by when I pick other selections. But this is this, I believe, is first time in the handicap. But it's racing post rating is miles ahead of its given handicap mark. I do believe, I could be wrong, I think it's off 92 tomorrow, or 96. It could be 92 or 96, it doesn't matter. But already it's posted in two runs, racing post ratings of 86 and 102 most recently. In my opinion, all it needs to do is reproduce its last run, and it's, it can be very hard to beat. Don't, don't get carried away with this, because obviously it can finish last. It's only ever run twice, so we haven't really got like a... A large cross section of form, so like to go on, but it actually won over the course last time. Um, 
Sam James is back on board. They'll know all about this. Carl Burke will know all about having a decent horse. Sam James will know all about the horse or know at least what he's performed so far. I, and Sam James probably would have given feedback the same when Carl Burke's asking, do you think it's got a chance in this race? And looking at the looking at the opposition, it's a competitive race. But I think Sam James is more like to say, yeah, I don't see why not uh, improving horse. And it's from powerful owners as well. So um, I think it's got a cracking chance. So that's the main bet. So let's get on to the next bets. So the next bet is a 13 pence each way, lucky 31, and a 40 pence each way accumulator. Right, so as you're well aware, as you can see, I've had another horse in the 10 past two, and I'll explain that in a minute. So the first selection is Law of the Sea at 9 to 1 in the 10 past 2 at Ascot, paying four places instead of three. Ian Williams loves a winner, like most trainers, at Ascot. I think he had seven horses declared for this last night. I was going through, I thought, crikey, he's uh, intent on having a runner. Well, I think he's still got three or four in the race anyway. But I do like the look of this horse. Um, it's been a bit patchy or a bit ropey with its form, but it's been running over further or... Sometimes it's been run over further. It's, it's back at two mile um, on Saturday. And it has been occasionally running over two and a half mile. I think it, its best trip will be two mile. And I think it's been basically saving it for this race or saving it for this kind of distance. So I think it's got a good chance. The second selection is Knowlton Cross at 12 to 1 in the 2.45 at Ascot, paying four places instead of three. The third selection is a selection that I backed at Royal Ascot. I thought it... It was William Buick doesn't meant, doesn't often give horses bad rides. I thought this was this was disappointing. What a disappointing ride! This horse has, has got quite a lot to do still though because it's I, I believe it's a listed or group race. Just give me one. Second. It doesn't say. I believe it's a listed or group race. Um, so this horse is quite a bit behind on official ratings however i think it's still a progressive horse even though it looks like it's like stumbled a bit um on its last two runs so i think there's more to come from this horse 12 to 1 is, is too big a prize so tarab at 12 to 1 in the 10 past 4 at haydock paying four places instead of three the next selection is washington heights at 9 to 2 in the 430 at ascot paying four places instead of three this horse is running well, even when Kevin Ryan's stable are really quiet. I do like this horse because it tends to travel very powerfully. And um, definitely think it's got a good chance of a place. It's fingers crossed whether it wins or not. The next selection is Reginald Charles. 8-1 to one in the 5.20 at Haydock, paying four places instead of three. Right, forget, I know we've had quite a few horses already. Forgive me because I've kind of forgot exactly why I fancied this, but I fancied it strongly. I do believe it tends to race up with the pace, and I think that should suit this horse. Um, and yeah, eight to one, I think it's a decent price. Right, the next bet, I don't know if you, well, obviously this is all to, to go on Sky bet. So it's a football bet, but this is a free bet. So you haven't got to deposit any money for this bet. Basically what it said, it said, here's a five pound free bet for the upcoming Premier League weekend or something, but you haven't got to use Premier League teams. So as you're well aware, there is a video, and I'll put it in the in the description, the comments, and also if you click on the top right of this video, there'll be a, like a, a letter I. It, it will scroll down to Saturday's horse, uh, Saturday's football tips, because I did post those. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. So basically, what I've had is I have had the same teams to win. Well, I've I've had teams to win in the matches where we want goals. So my most fancied teams were. Mansfield to beat Morecambe, Wrexham to beat Wimbledon, and Stockport County to beat Walsall. So that's £5 free bet. You haven't got to deposit, and it, it returns £24.25. Right, the next bet is the horse bet. That's only because it's in, it, it's in time order. So it's a 10 pence each way Canadian. And 40 pence each way accumulator. So the first selection is L Drama at 10 to 1 in the 3 o'clock at Haydock, paying three places instead of two. This horse was progressive, but then it left Roger Varian Steve, but it was going to Carl Burke. I definitely think it's got a chance. Um, 
yeah, definitely think he's got a chance. Second selection is Round Hay Park at 15 to 2 in the 348 at Red Car, paying four places instead of three. I believe it's drawn two or three. If if in the first race or the first couple of races they went towards the far side, well, this one's got a cracking chance because it's drawn low. And um, I just hope the jockey's switched on and heads towards that far side rail. Ideally, it, it'll be racing prominently. It may, it may not be preferential to lead. The third selection is the Grey Lass at 12 to 1 in the 424 at Red Car, paying four places instead of three. Another low drawn horse. I think this one's by Mick Easterbit. It should be up there throughout and maybe, well, maybe I'll just sneak a place. The fourth selection is Brookie Cookie at 6 to 1 in the 2 minutes past 5 at Red Car, paying four places instead of three. This one's a very difficult horse to work out. It's come from Ireland and it's been stepped up at Basically, one and a half furlongs to two furlongs on what it's raced on so far. It's been slowly away and never been involved all three times. This is another horse that <clears throat> two of its races have been, its racing post ratings have been above its handicap mark. But I can't read too much into that because it's Ireland, Irish form. But I do think it's definitely worth taking the prize. But with this coming over from Ireland, it could, it will go to, from six to one, it could go to two to one favourite or it could go to twenties. And that probably be more of a reflection of what chance it's got on Saturday. The final selection in this bet is Cracked Up at 13 to 2 in the Fire 35 at Red Car, paying four places instead of three. This horse is crying out for further. This horse is crying out. Sorry about that. This horse is crying out for further. Powerful stable. I think it's Charlie Fellows. Benoit de Lisseyot's riding it. It's a shocking race. I think they're only rated about 60 in this race. I'd expect this horse to be better than that. If it's not better than that today, then it will be in future races. So those are all the horse racing selections. These are the rest of the football bet. In fact, I'm not going to show you the football bet. Click the link in the description to see the football bet. I've taught long enough in this video. So the very give me a like or a subscribe. That would be great. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.